fencing. <laughs> that, this is a really simple exercise. Um, whereas the body balancing exercise gets your horse to want to go straight, this exercise teaches your horse how, how you ask him to go straight. So this is sort of, we're not going to pull on both reins at the same time, but you want to have the slack out of the reins enough to where you could catch and steer him with one rein or the other. And what we're looking for here, and I'm gonna ride him straight towards this uh, wall right here, is you just take the slack out of the reins. You see how he starts to wiggle around like a drunken sailor? And you just catch him either way. And when you get to the rail, say whoa, and make sure he keeps staring at it. Not too big a problem. There he kind of wavered back and forth. He didn't have one direction that he was too interested in going. So you just kind of say, all right, cool. Walk a circle, one to three circles, somewhere in there. Just something to change the subject. And then pick your fence post at the other end and trot straight towards it. Or you can go at any speed. Trot to canter is better. So we'll do this first one at a trot here. And you'll find the quality or stop or the quality of his straightness really is dictated by the quality of the rundown. You see how he's getting all squiggly here? And then he wants to stick his neck over the fence? You just make sure he keeps staring right at the point that you are. And then we'll go ahead and ask him for, I'm gonna ask him to trot three circles here. Look up, pick my point, have him ignore the barrels and everything. That'd be good. See how he's kind of, this is good uh, if your horse is real distracted. Ooh. <laughs> there. So this has been a long time since he's done an exercise like this, and that's kind of why I pulled this horse out to show you guys, is because I knew he was going to be probably the least well-behaved out of all of them. So it's going to give me a little bit more to work on and a little more to show you. So normally, um, you know, if you're doing this with a young horse, you want to do this at a trot for a while. Um, with an older horse, who's he's obviously done this before he's just being goofy it helps with straightness if you carry more speed so if you feel confident enough to say canter into your rundowns that'd be the way to do it but you don't want to create like this kind of like high speed stress zone going from one end of the pen to the other so sometimes you fence or sometimes you ride to the point and other times you just kind of change the subject uh, so let me show you here, uh, for instance, how to work, work him into it. Because you wouldn't just want to like, hey, ah, you know, gallop him down to the other end and ask, ask him to stop. So you could start by looking for him to move forward. And then say trying a left circle. Looking for him to get round. Good. Go maybe one more left circle. There we go. See he's working himself into it and then go for a canter on down. And just keep an eye on your point wherever you picked. Help him stay straight. And you see he kind of decreases speed and gets underneath himself when he gets to the fence. Pretty nice. He wanted to turn right there, or I mean left there. So we'll turn him right. Look for him to start picking up the trot. It's good for him to work through stuff, learn how to just pick his feet up like those cones there. It's a good little distraction for him. Then pick up the right lead. Pick our fence post there. Keep our eyes trained right on it. <laughs> and see, he stopped a, ste a step before I did because he's thinking about that fence. It's getting nicer. You see that stops getting nicer and I'm not pulling on him quite as much. I'm just asking him to stay straight. And all these little squiggles, this left, right, this, all this little stuff, that's, that's really going towards gaining a better communication and getting that straightness out of him. Oh boy. So let's uh, go right circles. And K. 
canter out and down the, towards the post. Up oh, right there, you see? That's an instance where we got a counter, or like a cross canter. He cross fired there. So he was going on the right lead in front and the left lead in back. If you find your horse doing that, break him down and do circles in the middle. You know, that's where that stressy hotness comes in. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, create that stress zone. So then just change the subject a little bit, do some figure eights, change his mind. And then ask him to canter off again. Pick your point. Balance him in between your reins and legs. Boom. There, and you see he stopped a little more on his back end there, but he canted off to the left. So we're gonna bend, or yeah, canted off to the left. So maybe we'll go a couple circles left, a couple circles right. Pick up a left lead. Pick your post. Stay right in the middle. There you go. And wait for him to maybe even back off a step or two. That's okay. As long as it's on his of his own accord. I'm not asking him to back up there. All right, so that's kind of the idea with fencing. And uh, the longer you do it, the more repetitions you do it, uh, the straighter your horse kind of gets. And uh, I'll, I can go grab another horse. We'll create a second video as a partner to this one. Uh, go grab a little more finished horse at this and show you kind of what it looks like when it's all the way done. So, um, uh, so that's right there, that's fencing, riding to a point.